Up next, we're gonna be talking about A Journal for Jordan. This is Michael B. Jordan's latest movie. Um, I thought it was really too long. It was too long. It was like two hours and 11 minutes. I was in the theater like, like Kobe. I was over here like, when does this movie end? I mean, um, I went on, I went there with a girl, obviously, because girls love Michael B. Jordan, so I was there. I mean, I'm not a hater of Michael B. Jordan, it's just, I wouldn't say he has the greatest movie catalog. Like, when I think of Michael B. Jordan, I don't really think of great actor. Although, he does, he does, he does his thing. Like, he's, he did his thing in Creed. Creed was a really good movie, but I wouldn't say it was a really good movie because of Michael B. Jordan. The movie was just good. And then he was really good in Black Panther, and... That was just good writing, and but Michael B. Jordan might have made that role. Like when I think of Killmonger, I think of Michael B. Jordan. He made he he did his role, you know what I'm saying? Um, so he might have made that role, but I think the writing was really behind it. Because if you think about everything else in that movie, everything Ryan Coogler did, um, Chadwick Boseman, all of them really made that movie really good. Not to discredit Michael B. Jordan, it's just like I said, when I think of great movies, I don't really think of Michael B. Jordan. In this movie, he man, I'm not gonna lie, I might have been just emotional that day. Um, but I, there was a scene in the movie towards the end where my eyes definitely did water. I think like one or two key tears, they might have like populated and just rolled down just a little bit. Um, but yeah, this movie I think was really good. I think they could have shaved like 30 minutes off of it. And then it's just like the way the movie is set up, it bounces back and forth through time. So we're in the present, we do a flashback. We're in the present, but farther in the present. So I guess we're in the future. And then we go back in the past. And then we go farther into the future. And then we go back into the past. And then we go modern day, which we're like the movie where it's actually taking place. Then we do one last flashback. And then we go back to modern day. And I just didn't like that. And then just the way that you find out some of the things that are going to happen in the future because we're in the future so you know some of the stuff that's already going to happen in the past i felt like that threw off the cohesiveness of this movie i think they could have shaved off maybe 30 40 minutes of this movie and it would have been nice and pristine but overall i feel like the movie was too long um but it's and i mean it's based on a true story so i thought that was pretty cool i didn't know it was based on a true story till the end of the movie and the girl i went with she was like yeah it said that at the beginning of the movie don't you pay attention and i'm like i think i missed it i'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed it. Dang, calm down. Anyways, this movie is pretty good. I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10. It's definitely not movie of the year, although it's January. It might be my movie of the year so far. I can't think of any other movies I've watched. I should probably start keeping track of that so I can do my movie of the year video. So, yeah, I should probably think of that. But, I mean, I guess this is my movie of the year. What is it, January 7th? It's probably the best movie I've seen this year. Still too long, still a 7 out of 10. It could be better. But yeah, um, a journal for Jordan has a really good message about a gentleman, a man doing the best to protect his country, his family. And he's he has a really good role model. And a lot of black people don't have a lot of there aren't a lot of black male characters who take care of their family, but legally, responsibly and have a faith in God. Like you have to do. There's no black man in a movie who can do all three of them. So that he did all three of them, although you have to survive and within the 10 minutes so i'm not gonna lie spoiler alert michael b jordan dies like 10 minutes into the movie you find out that he's dead and now you have to spend the next two hours trying to figure out when did he die how did he die how his death affects everyone else so you have to be a good man believe in god not do anything illegal and then you have to survive the movie no black man in a movie can do all four <laughs> and that's just how it is with media nowadays but still hey that's pretty much it